Stranger in the Woods, a photographic fantasy by Carl R. Sams II and Jean Stoic. The snowflakes were resting after their twisting, twirling dance through the crisp night air. Every twig in the forest wore a new coat of glimmering white. Daybreak came softly moving through the woods and yawning as its rays slowly stretched across the snowy meadows. The birds were the first to notice. Stranger in the woods, stranger in the woods. Take care, take care, the blue jays called a warning from high in the tops of the tall oaks. Do you hear the jays calling? Mother Doe spoke softly to her fawn. Yes, he whispered. I always listen to the birds. The wind blowing through the trees, the rustling of the leaves, and all the sounds of the woods. Stranger in the woods. Who, who's in the woods? Where? Where did the jay say? Where is he? Asked the owl of many questions. Coo, 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 would that be him? Asked the morning dove. There, beyond the old apple tree, follow the snow trail past the pond to where the meadow begins. Not far, not far at all. Who, who's in the woods? Why is he here? When, when did the stranger come? Asked the owl of many questions. I've been here since early morning before the first pale light of the eastern sky, said the munching muskrat. No stranger came this way. No one passed my pond. I follow the snow trail under the light of the winter moon, answered the buck. He was not there during the night, that I am sure. As the animals moved through the snowy forest, they came to the edge of the meadow. The frightened doe stomped her hoof and snorted. Where is he? Where is he? Can you see him? Yes, yes, I do see him, chattered the squirrel. Someone needs to go and check, 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 check him out. Who, who, who will go? Who, who, who will go see? Asked the owl of many questions. Now don't go looking at me. I'm much too busy ch -ch chewing on my antler, sputtered the porcupine. You'll not be volunteering me. No siree, said the scared rabbit. Is, is he watching me? Howdy dee dee. It's me, the chickadee dee dee. I will go. I will take the lead. I'm the smallest and can skip her quickly. I'll do it. I'll make a tunnel under the snow where only I can go, creeping in closer to get a look, quietly, just like a mouse. Let it be me. Let me go, volunteered the fawn. I can do it. I know I can. I'm the strongest and the biggest, said the young buck. I should go first. I can fly faster, chirped the cardinal. But I can run like lightning, and I have antlers, boasted the buck. But I am, I am red, announced the cardinal, not knowing what else to say. What are you waiting for? I'm already Dee Dee, exclaimed the chickadee Dee Dee. said the chickadee dee dee there are nuts and seeds on this hat for you and me the stranger is friendly come see come see there's plenty i can see there's something for you said the buck could it be there's something for me my nose is leading me to corn buried beneath the snow a treat that I can eat, said the young doe as she reached out to the stranger. Wow, a carrot. Do I have to share it? What is this? questioned the fawn as he passed a curious object in the snow. Could it be there's more than one stranger in the woods? After the corn was gone, the animals left by the snow trail one by one and disappeared into the winter woods. It was the chickadee who took the last seed and flew away. The snowman stood alone, 
but only for a short time. They have eaten everything, even the carrot nose, whispered the little sister, peeking out from behind the evergreens. Let's put out more seeds and corn before they come back, encouraged the brother. The animals will never know we were here. How long will we feed them? She asked. For a long, long time, he replied. After the snow has gone and the snowman has melted away, until the frogs start to sing and the trees grow new leaves. I think they like carrots the best. The end. Thank you for reading with me. Now we have a craft. We're going to be making a treat for the wild birds. Here's what you'll need. A pine cone, some string, peanut butter, and some bird seed, or things from your kitchen that birds can eat. If you make your bird treat using things from your kitchen, carefully check that everything you're using is safe for birds to eat. I use plain crushed cereal, shredded carrots, and crushed nuts and seeds. First, tie a piece of string to the stem of the pine cone so that you can hang it up. Make sure it's tied tightly. Now use a knife to spread peanut butter all over the pine cone. Cover as much of it as you can. It doesn't take much. Now get your bowl of bird seed or bird food ready and roll your pine cone in it until all the peanut butter is covered. When you're done, tie the other end of the string to a tree branch near a window so you can watch the birds enjoy your treat. Thank you for joining me for story time. I hope you had fun. I'll see you next time. Bye!